Welcome. If you have never come across Planet Watch or want to learn more about the project, in today's video I'll cover the main details and how you can start earning Planet Tokens. If you do find value from the content provided, please show some love to the channel and I'll leave any relevant links in the description below. To start off with, what are Planet Watch trying to achieve? They are a company currently focused on gathering air quality data across the world. The information gathered is valuable for scientific and business goals, with an aim to sell it on to hospitals, public transport sectors, online media companies and so much more. The data is valuable to these industries as it is measured in real time. For example, air quality data can be fed back to government organisations in order to provide reliable data to the public and to bring positive environmental changes to cities over a period of time. So how does it all work? Users purchase and run PlanetWatch sensors in fixed locations. The air quality data measured is sent back to PlanetWatch and in return, users are rewarded in planet tokens on a daily basis. These planet tokens can then be traded into dollars. There are four different types of sensors that can be deployed. Different sensors earn different rewards. So how are rewards calculated? Type 3 and Type 4 earnings are fixed. Type 1 and Type 2 sensor earnings vary based on two main factors. Number 1. Tier Pixel There are two type of tier pixels, Tier 1 and Tier 2. Tier 1 pixels are highlighted in purple on the Planet Watch Explorer map and provide more valuable air quality information. Sensors within these areas earn more planet tokens than the areas not covered in purple, which are referred to as Tier 2 pixels. Number 2. Lead or Backup Sensor for a Type 1 device, if there was more than one sensor within one pixel, the rewards would be split between a lead sensor and backup sensors. A lead sensor approximately earns 10 times more planet tokens than a backup sensor. For Type 2 sensors, it is the same scenario, however you are allowed 5 lead sensors within one pixel, and the rest are backups. To be a lead sensor, your local reputation score must be the highest within your pixel. It is not clearly stated within the white paper, however, the reputation score seems to be how relevant the data is to the Planet Watch team. So how much can you earn? 80% of earnings go to sensor owners and 20% go to Planet Watch. Taking into consideration the full 80% to sensor owners, looking at the table provided, each type of sensor earns different rewards. So if you are running a Type 1 device within Tier 1 and are a lead sensor, you'll earn 133.32 planet tokens per day, which equals to approximately $44 at the time of this video. If you are placed in a tier 2 pixel, you'll be earning half as much. If you are running a type 1 device within tier 1 and are a backup sensor, you'll only be earning 13.33 planet tokens per day, which equals to approximately $4.4 at the time of this video. If you are placed in a tier 2 pixel, you'll be earning half as much. The same roughly applies to Type 2 sensors. Type 3 and Type 4 earnings are fixed, with Type 3 earning approximately $10 a day and Type 4 earning approximately $7 a day. So let's take a look at how much it costs to purchase a sensor. Type 1, 2 and 3 sensors can be purchased via the main Planet Watch website. In order to purchase a sensor, you first require to purchase a license which puts you in a pre-order queue. Once the device is ready to ship, then you will pay for the sensor. Taking into consideration your region, the product and the license for one year, the costs are as follows. For a Type 4 sensor, you can purchase the product from a distributor and then purchase the license after. If you are interested in purchasing a license, I have provided a link above. So what is my overall conclusion? Planet Watch is a great project, with a good team and substance behind what it is trying to achieve. The air quality monitoring market is set to hit $5.9 billion by 2026. There is huge room for growth and demand for air quality data. However, there are many competitors out there such as Breezometer who work with big companies such as Apple Weather App to provide real-time air pollution data. Planet Watch, however, can have an upper hand if it deploys its network at a rapid pace and covers most Tier 1 locations worldwide. The project is still in its early stages, so the risk of buying sensors for an investment is high. Take a further look into its white paper, understand what the project is truly about, get a clearer vision of what the tokenomics are, and then take a decision if it's something you believe it's worth getting into. This is not investment advice, but an outlook and a quick overview of another interesting crypto project. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe and keep those notification bells on. Thank you all for watching.
I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.